Hey guys, it's Roth the Golem, and welcome to Onirism, an indie game off of itch.io that actually looks very similar graphically to the original Fable, at least in my mind, that's the way it looks. Um, just from this one intro page alone, looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that it already has a co-op and a versus mode, despite the fact that this is still a very early demo build. So I'm not entirely sure what we can see with co-op and versus. Uh, I mean, they're kind of self-explanatory, but you guys know me, I'm more interested in story than anything else, so we're going to hop into the adventure. But based on what Itch says, we'll be following Carol in wandering across dream worlds to rescue her plushie, which was kidnapped by a mysterious thief. Her weapons include an umbrella, a hairdryer, I think there's probably a frying pan or something thrown in there, um, but it's basically, it sounds like it's going to be a first-person shooter type game, but let's jump in and actually find out for ourselves. Uh, new get very spooky Halloween spell. Oh man, if I had known there was a Halloween thing to this, I probably would play this for Halloween. Uh, let's just do the new game for now, and uh, maybe, maybe we'll come back and actually do a race previous save. Sure, there was nothing there to begin with, uh, but maybe depending on how enjoyable this game is, we'll go back and we'll play through uh, the Halloween special as well. Ooh, this is very pretty. I like this art style. Like it's it's simplistic, but it's stylized as well, and it looks really good. Uh oh, I was to say what what is looming in the shadows at the foot of her bed? No, not fluffy buffalo ears. I have no, I am not good with naming things like that. I'm sorry, fluffy buffalo ears. Yeah, sure. And she is going to wow gets very angry and bravely dive into the portal with her umbrella. I don't know too many kids that would probably end up doing that. I feel like they'd call out for, like, mom or dad or something, and, like, the obviously the parents would hear it and be like, oh, great, our child is insane, or at least be like, well, our children are children, they're just making stories up, or it was a bad dream. You know, we'll either find her a new bunny or... Ugh. Oh, and she's dead. Game over. What and who are you? You look like you could belong to the Akatsuki, but like, it's differently. A different branch of the Akatsuki, if you will. Uh, okay, yep, so very first-person shooter type controls already. Um, oh, there's our thing. Ooh, what is this? Laser dryer. Oh, we've got to actually click on it to make it, uh, to make it shoot. That I don't like too much, but at least, alright, so it's right button... Uh, to actually go into that aiming mode, and then right again to get out of it. Ooh. She does not- oh, she does have kind of a multi-attack, but doesn't really at the same time. Uh, this feels very Fable-esque to me. Like, this is just beautiful. Shift to perform a dodge roll. Um, oh, that's if I'm- that's if I'm standing still. I, oh no, I just tap it once and I dodge roll. Okay. Oh god, he's coming for me. What a weakling. <laughs> what a weakling. The little girl's got some sass on her. So, alright, we jumped right to the uh, the gun mode as opposed to using the umbrella. No debris left behind when we smash those. Okay, no problem. Right mouse button to switch to aiming mode. Alright, I've already learned that, sir. Madam. Whoa, oh. Bit of a spread on the accuracy there, but... Not too shabby. Was he dropped a rocket? Um, and a bazooka. Wait, so does that mean... Uh, we no longer have our little, uh, pea shooter hair dryer there. Run and jump, okay. Careful, you jump less high in aiming mode. Alright, that makes sense. So wait, if I... Okay, I did not want to use the, uh, the bazooka on just smashing those things. Uh, ooh, what is up here? I see glowy stuff. Glowy stuff that I don't think I can reach. Not gonna risk dying this early on. Well, she's got a little bit of speed on her, that's good. Uh, already did the sprinting part, well aware. Uh, this is a save station, okay. Aww, Carol Sweepy. And now Carol fired up all of a sudden. They did a really good job with the, the design on her. I mean, the animation, like, the running itself looks a little basic, but for the most part, like, I love the facial expressions and like, when there's a little cutscene, like, the save. Holy Christ, look at this world. This is 
beautiful. It's also, you know, somewhat deadly as well, but many beautiful things are deadly. Oh, wow. I also don't know how long this is going to last. Oh, uh, press shift right before the enemy attacks to perform a... Ah. Dude, you just, you're taking a bazooka to the face. All right, so I can dodge in first person mode. Definitely got some sass on her. Almost makes her sound a little bratty though, unfortunately. So we've got the temple, the village, and the volcano, huh? Yep. More energy, I think that is. Alright, let's try. Wow. That's a that's a powerful umbrella. Let's uh let's kill this one over here, and then we'll kill that orc as well. Stealth kill. Oh, and dead before you even knew it. Ah, uh, no more sprint. Alright, let's uh build up some stamina. Oh god. <laughs> He's coming for me, folks. Alright, so there is one caveat to, to fighting like that. If you're trying to run away, you obviously can't swing at whatever your the camera is looking at. Alright, let's uh let's head over to the village, maybe. Ooh, what is that? It's like Oh, it's a water creature, it looks like. Yes. Friend or foe? Oh, it's a slime. Ooh. Wow, he was pretty strong. Oh, they can dodge too? That's not fair. Not well, but I mean, it works. Huh, that's kind of cool. Slime creatures are a little, I guess you could say, evolved in this game. They actually have, like, humanoid form. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like one... Uh, wait, I think that is one of my toys. No, no. Oh, it's a little girl coming toward us. Let's smash her. God. You're gonna regret that. <laughs> oh, the sass is amazing. Oh, crap. Why are you... Why can't we switch back over to your hairdryer, then? Oh, God. Stupid boar, go away. Eh. I think she's got a wide arc on that. Um. Oh, I gotta scroll to switch over to the dryer and everything. Okay. Can't do that with the actual melee weapons, though. Well, and we're at the village. Um. There we go. Ooh, that, that was a weird glitch. So I hit E to interact, I guess. And this is what happened. Thanks for saving me from these bullies. Some of their friends have stolen the key, which opened the gate. They went to the old temple. Can you go there and take it back, please? You will find the ruins after the Ark. Be careful. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to the back of my head the whole time, but at least now I know where I'm going. And I'm assuming this is the temple, and the sign has confirmed my suspicion. Excellent. Look around for any enemies, which none of which I see. Uh, I like the fact that this isn't just a, qui a simple, like, uh, lock on to your enemy and swing at them. I do like the fact that there is a certain like, physical mechanic to, like, using your melee weapons. Which, I mean, let's face it, that's life. You shouldn't be able to, you know, run backwards completely. Oh, look, my temporary health is going back down to 100. Excellent. So that was useless. I assume that would have actually been good if I had uh, been injured, but... Come on. Yeah. Bastard. How dare you tuck and roll in my presence. Oh god, oh. She's fine. So that pea shooter definitely helps to whittle them down before they even get to you. Alright, where am I to go? Just kind of like randomly running through this temple. Oh, come on. We'll take the high ground and we'll get a little view of the place. Whoa! Oh! Could not dodge fast enough. Yeah, accuracy on this thing has a little bit left to be desired. Nice. We got some f it's foam is what it is, huh? All right, let's uh let's see how this thing does from afar. Not very well. All right, arc it. Nice. Oh, shut it. Yeah, she's pretty strong with that thing and I see a save point up there, which we will get to momentarily, but first, got to pick up that foam ammo. It's kind of bothersome that you have to pick up the ammo when you don't have to pick up anything else. I got my health back, though. That's good. And we are collecting some form of currency. I don't know what it is. 
Uh, I know what it well, I don't know what it looks like because I don't know what it is. We have some fireworks. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. Oh, we haven't even reached the temple yet, but we've at least reached a save point. <laughs> I like how this seems to like wake her up and like fire her up as well. I, lo I love the sass. Okay. Heading toward the temple again. Ooh. Ah. Ow. And that's the first time anything without a gun has actually managed to hit me. Buy ammo for 10 pearls? Is that what I've been collecting? Nah, screw it. I don't need ammo. I'm fine on my own. We will scavenge for ammo. Just like the children of old when they first came to this land. Oh, that's a big boar. Oh, that's a big guy. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, God. Oh, he's armored. Oh, he's angry. Oh, boy. Oh, we got some, like... Uh, gold slimes? Oh, you can actually hear them be all rubbery. Unless that's the music, actually. These guys actually seem weaker than their blue brethren. Actually, I think that actually might be the music. It sounds like it's laying down a, a bass line there. Is this the temple? Ooh, there's something on the temple, if this isn't the temple. Uh, more ammo. Nope, I am good. Ooh, new enemies. Oh, oh god. Oh, they are rapid fire. Aim for the head and hit the body. Not a problem. Ow. Come on. Damn it, stop dodging. Of course you are. But they have a new type of ammo. Okay. Water soaker. Alright. We can uh, pea shoot this guy, I think. No, we really can't. It doesn't even have enough range to reach them. Oh, that's, that's good that we've learned that fact. That will also do just fine. Uh, we'll stay on the Hydra, I guess. See, it looks like an ammo crate. Nice. Excellent. We can't pick you up, though. Not sure why. Uh, energy? That's what it looks like. It looks like a lightning bolt. Pick you up. Won't let me. Uh... Oh, we full up? That's why we full up on the magic musket. Hydra, not so much. Buy ammo for 10 pearls. Um, let's stick with the musket for now. Alright. Ooh. Uh, dead ends, it looks like. Get some health back at least. Excellent. The, the bonus health thing is kind of killing me. I wish it would let me go over and keep it. But, I mean, you can't have it always, I suppose. Uh, pick up everything else. We're full up on this stuff. Hopefully I can come back and collect that. Now, we came from the right. Let's go off to the left here. Ooh, looks like something whizzed by me for a second. I also don't know who the guy is I'm supposed to be killing, so... What? How did you dodge? That's not fair. There we go. Wow, we... Did, we didn't know. We did not come full circle here. But there's a shortcut back to the village. Still, we've got to make our way to the temple. Oh, I... I gotta keep remembering that I have to click the button to turn off my gun and stuff. Oh, that was a direct hit. He didn't even dodge that one. Screw it. Bastard. I kind of hope that there's a way to upgrade my weapons because I'll just stick with the umbrella at this rate. Like, I'll use my gun for when I can't get to the enemy. Ooh, speaking of which, we never actually melee fought this type of guy. Oh, because that's why. So he's weaker, but he, uh... He can get the jump, drop, the drop on us damage-wise. That's not good. Just smash everything. That seems to be the nice part about all this, is that you can just smash all these, uh, barrels and stuff along the way, a la Legend of Zelda, and actually... Wow! She got 40 on that kill, on that hit. All right, so here is the temple. We got a boomstick. Oh, excellent. Uh, so, oh, we have to trade one out. Uh, I'm gonna say we'll trade out the Hydra. That'll work. So we can only carry two guns and our laser dryer. All right, let's uh, let's get the boomstick up and running here. We gotta bash this. It won't break like that. Why? Do we need like a special attack or something? Looks like we do. Well, crap. How do we do that? 
Uh, let's check our controls real quick. Uh, interact, lock on, melee. Oh, we can, we can lock on. We have to press F, though. Um, change weapon. Attack, hold for a charge attack. Okay. So, lock on with F. Let's see. Where's the charge? Okay, I'm holding it. She's not charging, though. Weird. Okay, I guess I actually have to learn it. Wow, that's lock on mode. All right. So we'll take that off real quick. Crap, how am I supposed to learn it then? Ooh, this looks potentially promising. Found a little uh, water area down beyond the temple with a crap ton of slimes. Oh boy. Ah, your hands turn into size? You bastards. Well, they all seem to have the same amount of health points, so that's not bad. And you turn into sharks too? God damn it. Okay, come on. We have not gone below 67 health, though, so that's good. Come on. I'm hoping there's some payoff for killing all these things. All right, let's boomstick them. Nice. Oh, if you can get, like, a direct shot, they almost die in one. Nice. Come on, give me all your health. Oh, and uh, Onirism just encountered an error and must close. Excellent. That is going to end the playthrough rather abruptly, but then again, this is just a demo version. Stuff like this is expected. Thankfully, it hasn't happened to me in a long time, but at least now I can send off this information to the developers and let them know exactly what happened. So I would have liked the game to have continued on, but I mean, as it was, we all actually got kind of lost in what we were supposed to do. We knew where we were supposed to go. We had to go to the temple to get a key, but we needed to crash through a gate and we didn't have the capability of doing it. Uh, the controls told us how we could, but the game didn't seem to either explain to us how to get it or maybe we went in the wrong direction or what it was. Either way, it would have taken a long time, I think, to explore. But this is a very good starting feel for the game. I One, I've said this before, it's visually beautiful. The controls are actually really good. I haven't encountered any issues with them. They are a little different in the respect that uh, I, I personally feel like I would rather hold down the right trigger in order to be able to pull up my gun as opposed to click it and like switch up the mode. But that's just me personally. I, I feel like that stems from like metal gear solid days i also kind of want to see something more as far as like the melee weapon goes because that thing is pretty awesome there is a dodge mechanic built into it i didn't utilize it very much or very well uh but there is also an aiming mechanic built to it so it's a whole hitbox thing kind of like what they did with the uh, assassin's creed origins as opposed to just being like oh just press the attack and you like you'll automatically swing and hit the guy or whatever so that i do like that has a little more realism to it and in a game where it's it's uh, the focus is very heavily put on fantasy. I like the fact that there is that realistic as aspect to it. Carol as a character, I love. Like, you've already gotten to know her personality. Like, she's a little girl. She's cutesy and everything. She likes cute things. But she's a little spitfire. Like, she's got a little attitude about her. She sasses her enemies after she beats them up and defeats them. I don't want to say kill because I don't know if that's how it works or not. Um, but she obviously has no fear. And that's awesome. I love the game already. I can't wait to play it again. Like I said, I'm pr I may end up doing the Halloween special despite the fact that we're past Halloween at this point by almost a month. And again, that seems kind of weird because the game only came out four days ago and I'm recording this literally the day I'm going to be uploading it. But either way, I feel like it's something that I need to try, at least just to get to know the game and Carol a little bit more. But as far as Onirism itself goes, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you've seen and heard, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And having said all that, I will see you all on the other side. Take care.